All right, let's get to it. Is Al Michaels awake? Answer, no. David, what do you got? Yeah, there are uh, – there's football news everywhere. Let's start with that Jacksonville uh, Chargers game. Chargers up 27 to nothing. Everyone expected Brandon Staley to lose his job cross-country trip, but he has not. But they did get rid of Joe uh, Lombardi, offensive coordinator, and their QB coach. But what I really want to talk about is Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa throwing his helmet to the ground, Brandon Staley giving it back to him, and then throwing it back to the ground. Why didn't someone control Joey Bosa? Get to him and say, dude, look, dude, relax. Well, it was also down. after the game, losing it. You're not going to make friends, cussing out the officials in public. Hey, here's the nope. deal. I'll leave this to Rico because he's a, he's a member of the Bosa family. All I want to tell you is Brandon Staley should be fired because he's the one who got Mike Williams hurt, playing his starters in a meaningless game. And if Mike Williams plays, they win that game. A different game. They get a first down or they make one more play. When you take Mike Williams off that team, you're taking Josh Palmer and putting him to the outside. It throws the entire offense. Brandon Staley should have been fired for malpractice. Now Rico can handle the Bosa stuff. No, David, it just goes to show you what happens when somebody is bigger than the team. And Bosa right now is bigger than that team because no one could control him. You're right. Teammates, everybody should have said, dude, what are you doing? We're still in this thing. And it, it was over at that point. He, he lost it. You tried to hide the helmet. I don't even think the referees wanted to call anything because of who he was. And you know what? You're not just going to show us up like this. So, yeah, we're going to have to throw that flag on you. Way to go. It would have been an extra point instead of a two-point conversion. But you, you got to be – this is not your first year in the league. I don't know what happened. It was an epic meltdown. And, unfortunately, it's kind of like Kyler Murray in, in Arizona – the adults in the room are probably lose their job because the child just threw a temper tantrum in the cereal aisle at the grocery store. By the way, it's the only comeback in NFL history I can think of where there wasn't a turnover or a special teams play or anything, and the team just stopped you and came back to a huge deficit. Chargers yeah. won the turnover battle 5 nothing, Still blew a 27-point lead. Incredible. It's impossible. Inconceivable. Go ahead, David. Well, since you said it, Rico, let me just get to this real quick. Uh, outside of the playoffs, the Cardinals introduced their new GM today, uh, Monty Ossenfort. And uh, in his interview, he discussed with Michael Bidwell, the owner of the Cardinals, the owner discussed, said accountability came up as an issue last season. Well, Michael Bidwell, you signed your quarterback to an extension if you want to talk about accountability. But then the GM is quoted as saying, ego will not be tolerated in this organization. I'm not saying that's a sign and that's, that's a shot at uh, Kyler both. Murray, but they can't do anything to Kyler Murray. He's well, there. First of all, he's dead this year. He's not going to play. It would take a miracle to get him back before Thanksgiving. And second of all, yeah, you paid him his money, and he's kind of radioactive. You know who's the smartest guy? Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, you Bought a one-way ticket to Thailand. Yep. And yeah. he doesn't know when he's coming back. But remember what we talked about, Rico? You brought him up as an OC, and I go, Rico – He's fully guaranteed through 2027. He don't have to work for nobody. No, he doesn't. And he's young. He can still go and enjoy all of that money. That's right. And he's enjoying it right now. Yeah. Because if you're the Cardinals, you got to wonder, do they kind of go that Brock Purdy route? Let's just find a young quarterback and we'll worry about Kyler when Kyler gets back. We we have to pay him. We don't right, have they to don't play. have a choice. You're, no, Rico, you're right. They got to go the Marcus Mariota route. They got to yeah. get a placeholder until this kid's healthy. But yeah, good luck to the new GM who I have never heard of before. Uh, Patriot. Yeah, great. Oh, even better. There, yeah, going the full Patriot way. So I'm going to get to the next thing, but I got to call you out real quick, Rico, because you just said it. Uh oh. Last week, you were saying you had a third string quarterback, uh -oh. and now you're we saying do. do the Brock Purdy way. Huh? What? Which, which is it? No, David, that, the, it's the same. Both are the same because you're paying you're, you're paying Kyler Murray a quarter of a billion dollars. You can't afford to bring in another QB, so you know what? You go and get a quarterback in the later rounds and you just hand him the ball and see what he can do because you don't have to pay him anything. Brock Birdie is the best bargain in the NFL right now. He's been getting paid peanuts. I'm so, pretty 
He's still a third-string quarterback, David. He is still a third-string quarterback, and I'm pretty sure Minnesota wished they had that third-string quarterback. Kirk Cousins throwing a three-yard pass Oof. on fourth and eight. And the look of Justin Jefferson on his face leaving the field after that play. Murder. Wh- Murder. What are you thinking? Rico, true or false? After we celebrated briefly, was that not the first thing I blurted out? What the F yeah. was he doing throwing a two-yard pass? Yeah. Yeah. Jefferson, I think he was targeted once in the second half. The last time they threw him the ball was that bomb that was got overthrown in the third quarter. He has to be thinking, you got to get me the ball. I'm Justin Jefferson is one of those receivers. He's always open. It's like Calvin Johnson. I don't care that you're double team. Look at the catch I'm he made in open. Buffalo. It's yes. fourth and season. Put it up. Maybe he catches it and miracle. I recall I'm TJ Hawkinson. Uh, TJ Hawkinson's looking like, why are you throwing me the ball? I can't get the first down. All right, well, let's see what I can do, and I'm dead two yards later, and the game's over. And Cousins is looking like he's so bewildered. Kirk, you threw that pass. You had your choice of all the things on the menu, and you chose to order croutons. You just hate to see it. David? Yeah, you also hate to see this. Another team that doesn't use their weapons properly. Uh -uh. The Ravens decided to use Tyler Huntley to jump over the line for a touchdown. One problem... They were too far. He fumbles. Bengals go 98 yards. But J.K. Dobbins spoke after the game, quote, he should have never been in that situation. I don't get a single carry. I didn't get a single carry in the red zone, not at all after my touchdown in the second quarter. 62 yards for 13 carries is what he received or what he uh, well, his stats were on in the game. What were the Ravens thinking? The mistake is – The way Enrico and I talked about this watching games together this weekend, they've changed the rule where you can't really stop a sneak because you can push the player. So you have Tyler Linderbaum, who's an outstanding center from Iowa. Huntley, Linderbaum, and you line up the fullback, Ricard, who's 300 pounds, and then you line up Dobbins behind him. And then you get a beer vendor, and you line him up behind him. And you push him in. It was too far away to do the Superman routine. Which is what he tried to do and messed it all up. But I've still never seen what took place following it ever in my life. Ever. Right, but I guess the play was for him to to dive and not try to go over the top. He just, he went hero ball, Mike. You you know that from the MSU-Indiana game. Sometimes you could drop the play, but the player doesn't do what they're supposed to do. Got him. But... No, nah, I mean, he drew up the play, but, you know, but I I saw that, and it, it was kind of like at the end of the um the, that Minnesota-Buffalo game when you see people jumping up and down and pointing. I'm like, why why, why is he Never running? saw where, that either. Where, a, where is he going? Does sneak, he have the ball? A sneak fumbled <laughs> for a touchdown, and then we saw a sneak that gets returned 98 yards for a touchdown. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll never see those two plays ever again. Yeah. But was, I'm like, why is he running? What? What? And and he has the ball. I don't know what happened here. And then you see, it just fell into his lap. It's Smart amazing. of him to Absolutely run and, amazing. and go and not get caught. And so, since I'm on uh, Baltimore right now, uh, Bet Online has Lamar Jackson's odds. Can for- I give you where I want him? Yes, Atlanta. Arthur Smith running scheme. It's already like Tennessee Baltimore light. They are number three at plus five fifty on yes. this list. You got a team, Rico? No, can, can, let me see. So if not no. the Ravens, number one, Patriots plus 400. What? Jets plus 450. Then you said the Falcons. Yeah. Raiders plus the 650. Patriots? Niners yeah, yeah. plus 700. You think Bill Belichick wants the deal? Look, I wouldn't pay Lamar 10 cents. So I don't want nothing to do with him. But you put him in Atlanta, I can watch him from afar and laugh and take joy and do whatever. I would never pay him if it were my team. Wait, how how, how did the Niners get on that list? Plus 700. They, they got too many quarterbacks. They got to figure out what they're going to do. Trey Lance, he's, do you stick with him? Jimmy G? No. I, I, I can see Tom Brady going back to the San Francisco oh. for Lamar. <laughs> no, no, because Brady will be on a one-year deal, Mike. Oh. 
just kind of a farewell tour. I promise you I won't come back next season. I don't understand. I mean, I understand why he'll be signed because they'll sell luxury boxes and you'll, you'll, you'll be the darling of the league. I would not pay Tom Brady. I wouldn't even give him a, a meal per diem to play football for no. me, much less a salary. In the NFL, when your skills go, they go fast. And Watching him throw that ball that he meant to go out of the back of the end zone that got intercepted, yeah. I honestly, they may as well have just queued this up. No. It, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, look, it looks like Brett Favre in the <laughs> final days where I you was, just start feeling sorry. I was dying laughing. I love it. <laughs> Keep playing at 50, adult. And that is in football today.